SpaceX stands out among private space companies for its ambitious goal of launching not just a few, but potentially hundreds or even thousands of missions annually, particularly with its Starship program. Achieving this goal requires not only reliable rocket hardware and supporting infrastructure but also streamlining the regulatory process. One major hurdle has been securing launch licenses from the FAA, but there's hope on the horizon. Following discussions on March 18th, the agency is considering modifications to the licensing process for future Starship flights, paving the way for an accelerated SpaceX mission schedule. Let's get into the details of the FAA's planned adjustments, exploring how they will impact SpaceX and its grand aspirations on today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. SpaceX is a trailblazer in defying the odds and achieving feats once deemed impossible. Just a decade ago, Russia held the reins on annual space launches, with the US lagging behind even China. However, enter SpaceX, a true game-changer that has propelled the US to surpass China as the leader in annual space launches. For example, in 2023, SpaceX did 98 launches into orbit on the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, accounting for 90% of the US's launches. To achieve this scale, they have chosen to land and reuse Falcon 9 boosters, but they aren't stopping there. They are instead charting new frontiers with their formidable heavy-duty rocket, Starship. Notably, hailed as the largest and most potent rocket ever constructed, Starship's awe-inspiring prowess extends beyond its sheer scale. What truly captivates industry peers is its unparalleled capacity to execute ambitious missions on an unprecedented scale, ranging from tens to hundreds or even thousands of launches a feat already achieved by the scale of Falcon launches as stated above. Any milestone always takes time to be fully realized, and SpaceX is no different. Aside from the technical and logistical challenges that SpaceX needs to meet, they also have to meet high regulatory standards set by the FAA, which plays a crucial role in issuing rocket launch licenses. Presently, SpaceX must apply for licenses individually, a process that historically takes four to seven months hindering the company's rapid launch philosophy. The ongoing situation has drawn significant criticism from the space community towards the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. The development of the Starship rocket, crucial for the United States and global space exploration, faces bureaucratic hurdles. However, signs indicate a potential reduction in these obstacles. Speaking at the Payload Space Capital 3 event on March 18th, Kevin Coleman, FAA Deputy Associate Minister for Commercial Space Transportation, hinted at a transition to a regulatory system where launch licenses cover portfolios of launches rather than individual ones. This shift in the regulatory process aligns with reports of SpaceX planning up to nine test launches this year, as confirmed by high-ranking FAA officials and Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, who stated that he hopes a minimum of six launches will occur. For SpaceX, this presents a game-changing opportunity. With the ability to attempt more launches than ever and hold multiple launch licenses, the company stands to save considerable time and effort between mishap investigations. Criticisms directed at the FAA by Congress for slow license approvals highlight the agency's lack of readiness for the surge in private space companies, particularly those with ambitious goals like SpaceX. Elon Musk has been vocal about the FAA's space division deeming it fundamentally broken and unsupportive of the rapid development needed for projects like Starship. He also stated that the FAA is currently equipped to deal with a small handful of launches from select government agencies. Such developments are crucial for future Artemis moon landing missions and maintaining U.S. technological dominance in the face of increasing global space competition. While uncertainties remain regarding regulatory changes, there have been efforts by the FAA to reduce waiting times between Starship launches, partly attributed to SpaceX's innovations. However, there is a collective hope within the space community for regulatory frameworks to adapt and keep pace with the evolving space industry. That's all for today's episode. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.